can stop smoking. Praise the Lord, people of God. Wherever you are watching me around the globe, happy Sunday to you all. God is bigger than your problem. God is bigger than every force of the wicked one. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I come out before, I know people will say, this woman of God come out, I celebrate my father. My father is doing birthday today. So I have to celebrate. God bless you, sir. Welcome, sir. God bless you, a great man of God. Thank you for coming. I come out before to celebrate a great man of God. Now, this is our service. Good morning, good morning, good morning, sir. God bless you. Thank you for sharing our brokers. Thank you for being there for us. So today is our second, I think second, if I don't say second, uh, second, the second week of the March. Thank God for today. Praise the Lord. And let's worship God together, people of God. Wherever you are watching me, let's worship God together. Share the brokers. Share the brokers. Share these brokers, please. Share these brokers. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. The Lord, the joy that feed my soul. Something happened. Now I know he touched me. Amazed me. Oh, Jesus, he touched me. He touched me. Alabosha Gadagada. Ezebube, he touched me. Hallelujah. The Lord, the joy that feed my soul. Praise God. I say something happened. Now I know he touched me. Amazed me. Give it glory to the Lord, he reigns. Give it glory to the Lord, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. I say he reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Praise God. Give it glory to the Lord, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Thank you, Jesus. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Praise God. Adonai re 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 shakala bashata. We give glory to the Lord, He reign. We give glory to the Lord, He reign. Praise God. We give glory to the Lord, He reign. Praise the Lord, He reign. He reign. He reign. Praise God. Oh, we give glory to the Lord, He reign. Mashata laba. Glorious God. Excellent God, marvel of God, I bow before your throne. Glorious God, excellent God, wonderful God, I bow before your throne. I bow before your throne. Worship at the feet, I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. I bow before your throne to worship at the feet. I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. I bow before your throne. Worship at the feet. I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Praise the Lord. Thank God for today. I welcome everyone to this service. Wonderful service. Before we set down, we have to have the word of God, Psalm 51. According to the word of God, we always go through. Psalm 51, 10. Bible says, He cleans me, a cleans us, O God. He cleans me, a cleans us, O God. Renew the right spirit with me. Cast me not away for the present. Restore to me the joy of my salvation. God will restore to that mother, woman, the joy of your salvation today. As you are here, worship me, wherever you are worshiping me. Around the globe, the God of Agreement Prayer Ministry, He will restore to you the joy of your salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, happy Sunday to you all. Wherever you are connected to this service tonight, God of my Father, God of Abraham, of Isaac, of Jacob, she will never let you by in the name of Jesus. God will see you through, God will fight your battle. 
God will give you all your high expectation. A Bible's expectation of the righteousness, it will never cut off. Expectation of the righteousness, it will never cut off. Therefore, your expectation will never cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. You will celebrate God this year. This is your year. 2024 is your year of celebration. 2024 is your year of open door. 2024 is your year of jubilation in the mighty name of Jesus. Every delay in your life is big counsel. A big counsel. Arrow of sickness, arrow of death. It be returning back to the sender in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. I see all here today to join me on this live broadcast. Or this live broadcast of God is bigger than every situation. Our topic, God is bigger than your problem. God is bigger than that issue of your life. God is bigger than every issue that a man facing on this head. When we believe God is bigger than all, let's shout hallelujah. If you and I know God is bigger than our situation of this head, let's shout hallelujah. Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are here today for another day to glorify the name of the Lord, to eat of the table of the Most High God. Praise God. Our God is so faithful. Who is great? Who is like unto Him? Who is like unto Him? Oh Lord, who is like unto Thee? Oh Lord, I'm all that God. Who is like Thee? Glory all His holy name. Oh fearful His praising. Do His wonder. Hallelujah, bande bo shakata, made kele bo kotoli brade bo shedi araba, re koze kotori kara go zendaraba, e bado brada le kata le kotori ara. I want you to share, share this broker, share, share, share. The Lord will set you free today. The joy of the Lord will not depart half of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I welcome everyone to this service. Today is our day. We come together. For serving to come together to pray and to see the face of God in our life. Today is a Sunday. We eat the food, spiritual food that we, we all want to eat. And you are there, you are first time, you, uh, you are the first time of this agreement prayer ministry platform. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God of agreement prayer ministry will see you through. The God of agreement will fight your battle. The God of agreement will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. And we have today topic, our topic today, the, the God is bigger than your problem hallelujah god is bigger than your that situation that you don't know how you go to solve it you don't know that situation you go to go out of your life my god is bigger than him the god of father my father abraham isaac or jacob is bigger than that your problem in jesus name praise the lord happy sunday to you all let's go to the word of god people of god a new year are you here? Share the broker. Share, share this broadcast. You are not going, you're not going, to, go to depart for this blessing of this Sunday today. Just share, just share. Praise God. And this today's service is very good. As we come, let us sit down and listen to the voice of God. And listen to hear the words, the word of God are coming in. Hallelujah. The word of God are coming in. This year is very important for you and I. Praise Master Jesus. Let's go to the word of God straight. Hallelujah. I know you all are blessed. Every one of you have blessed because God is with us. We are not alone. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Praise God. Let's go to this Bible concerning, first of all, to let's see this topic. And I really love it so much. When I get this message, I say, Thank you, Jesus. This message, I really thank God for it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mada brada bro shakate lekete brigade regede bro shakata le bro satori araba prayer is a key prayer is a key prayer is a master key Jesus said there with prayer oh he's ended with prayer prayer is a master key praise God rato shakata kata rako shakete le brokoto prayer is a key Jesus started with prayer and she ended with prayer. Prayer is a key. Oh, prayer is a key. Prayer is a master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is a master key. Hallelujah. So let's go to the word of God. Are you here? Are you here together? God bless you. Let's go to the word of God straight. Let's hear. 
what God had going to commit with us, what God going to say to somebody had here. I say this is your year. This is your year of divine intervention. A year God will go to intervene, 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 intervene in that situation in your life. This year, you will share the testimony. You will share the great testimony of God in your life. Maso brakatakata. Reke de gede bo shakatakata. E ramaso koto I say this is your year. You will share the grace of God. You will shine. Arise and shine. And your light is coming. And the glory of God are raising upon you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. Every power belongs to God. Amen. Uh, that is not what I see just now. Okay, let's let's see that. Okay. Hallelujah. I want to say them. God bless you all. God bless you all. Wherever you are watching me, watching Mama, Agreement Prayer Ministry. God bless you. Happy Sunday to you. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. This is the day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad and worship Him. Praise God. Today, uh, I know people will see me and come out before. I come out to celebrate a great man of God, a great man of God, my spiritual father, Pastor Jay. True by Jesus. Today is their birthday. So when you honor a man, you honor a great woman of God, a great man of God, you are honor God in your life. That is why we have to come together, people of God. We don't know to heavy ourselves. We don't know to pamper, raise our shoulder. Humble yourself before God, and that's it. God will raise, it will, it will, it will humble you, it will, it will lift you higher. Now let's hear the word of God together that we have today. And the topic is that God is bigger than them. God is bigger than every situation in your life. God is bigger than that situation. The enemy that sees that you can never be coming out. God is bigger than them. Praise the Lord. God is bigger than every walls of darkness. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus Christ. I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe. I believe my God. Oh. Yes, I get it. God is bigger than them. Let's go to the word of God. In Isaiah 55, 8 to 9. Praise God. If you are there, say hallelujah. If you are there, say hallelujah. If you are there, say hallelujah. Marco Shakoto Brakata. Isaiah 55 and verse 4. Praise us to Jesus. Hallelujah. God is bigger than all your situation. Look at let's read it together, people of God. He said, For the thoughts are not your thoughts, neither and your ways is your your way, neither your ways are my ways, and declare it to the Lord. For for as the heaven and higher, the, the higher than the earth, so and my ways are higher than your ways, and my thought than your thought. See what we say? You say, as heaven is higher, that means this very Bible verse is giving us an inspiration for, some, for life that we are living this day. As the ways of the enemy, they are still all the plan of the wicked one. They are saying they are too much, they are this, they are that. The power of the wicked one had here. They gather, they do so many things to put the children of God down. They, they put the church of God. The Bible said the gate is the church is marching on, the gate of hell. He cannot prevail against the church of God. Praise God. So a gate of hell cannot prevail. Who are the church? You and I are the church. You and I had a shot. The gate of hell, it will not prevail against you. The gate of the witch and wizard, the gate of Papa Lawo, Mama Lawo, will not prevail against your life because you carry the light of God in you. Because you carry the grace of God in you. Because you carry the light. The thought of God in your life is not the thought of men in your life. Men can have evil thoughts around you. Men shall have evil plan around you. Men shall gather for your sake to put you down. Men shall come to you to destroy you. Men shall come to you this to squan to squan you but the god can never forsake you that is why top top is top is the god is bigger than them this topic god is bigger than them god is bigger than all the problem the problem you are passing through there god is bigger than the issue of your life god is bigger than his problem they may have caused him you are there god is bigger than every situation you are be passed through to according to john 16 John 16 and still say, let we, we open that Bible when we read it together. Let it together as a family. 
I say we a son and a daughter of the most high God, praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. I love Jesus. 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 I know everyone loves Jesus. When we say, Oh, there is nobody on this planet on this earth. When you say you love Jesus, say yes, I love Jesus. Are we do what Jesus loves? Are we follow the way of Jesus? Are we we love Jesus? Are we really follow the way of Jesus Christ? That is the issue that we are passing through. Look at the place go to rest for right now. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise God. There is a place I want to read for. That time I came here. Um, the Bible first I want to read for. I go to this Bible. Yes, you know where the word of God is going. The distraction is just only uh, somewhere else here. Look at the Bible verse in a. Uh, I will come back to it. Let's go to the topic. That, that is the angel of God will bring it back. I don't. I don't baggage for that. I see if they come to me when I'm talking. When we are stuck with the word of God, say Bible say open your mouth. I will put the words in your mouth. So as we are hoping our mouth, God will fill us up. So it's bigger than every problem you like. The God is bigger than there. He say. He say the thought. He say as evil as the evil. At this very place, it's it's something that people need to know. You say, for my thought is not your thought, as the the, the be on it. You say, you say, as the heaven is higher than a head, he higher than head. So my ways are higher than your ways. That means the way of God is higher against principality, against principality and power in your life. For those who are fearing that say, ah, I don't know whether this God is still there. I am crying, I am praying every day by day. I don't know this God is still there for me. I am trust in God. I am called upon this God. I don't know whether this God is still there to, to fight my battle. My situation remains the same. As the evil is bigger than the head. That's the way God is bigger than your problem. That's the way God is fighting for you. That's the way God will never put you to shame. That's the way God will never let you cry. He will destroy all the plans of the wicked one. The thought of the enemy of your life to not see you to see today. The thought of the enemy in your life for you not to even wake up of your sleep. The, the God is bigger than there. You are wake up. You see today, and that's it. God is still protecting you, and still protecting your family, and still protecting you, and every of your expectation. The that's it. God will bring it to pass, and He will give you victory over it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So God is bigger than there. He say, as the heaven is higher than His way, higher than the head. Also, the God was is higher than everything. So that know the thoughts of God in your life this year 2024, the Lord will bring it to pass. The Lord will bring it to pass. The Lord will destroy every assignment of the wicked one that are around you. When we come to closer to God, when we know God, what we, the God that we serve. Praise God. That is not being stopped here. Let's go to Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. We all know this Bible verse. You see what I'm talking? When we closer to God, when we allow God to do what we want to do in our life, that is why that is where God he will fight all our battle. That is why God will take all our problem and He's bigger than everything. Look at this in Proverbs 3, 3, 5. He say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And, and do lay no, he say, lay no unto your own who understand it. And in all your ways, and he will make a straight on your path. He will make your direct your path. Other people say he will direct your path when we trust in the Lord. Because with this time around, there are so many things around the world right now. There are so many challenges here that there. Many challenges for years, challenges for health, challenges for uh, finance, challenges for business, challenges for family, challenges for brother, sister. No one in the society that we are living right now, they put the whole world are full with challenges, are full with doubt or based of trusting no one, based of you are fearing someone but if you have God in you if you believe and trust in God you don't need to fear nobody you don't need to fear nobody you need to do, 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 do have a fear in your heart believe that this person can harm you this person can destroy you they cannot do you even though they are wish and wizard even though they are the marine or country kingdom the God you are serving bigger than they hallelujah the God you are serving bigger than they 
The power they have, the Bible says, it will, it, that power is with power less. He said, I have seen the wickedness with power. He said, but their power with power when we closer to God. That the power, that is why the power of the enemy in your life we it will, it will destroy. Praise the Lord. God bless you. The power of the wicked one in your house or your family, that is where he will destroy. When we close out to God. When we put God in the force, yeah, it's too Italy. But the Bible says we should wait for him. When we are praying for God, when we are praying to see the face of God, they don't see, we will think it as if God is not asking prayer. God will not make a way. God will not do it that we determine we need it. God knows he knows you. He knows that situation. Before everything, no, he sees everything. He see all. He said, before we are born to this world, in a Jeremiah, let's open our Bible there. A book of Jeremiah 1. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. 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 Praise God, praise Praise God, praise God. 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 Praise Let's see what I am saying you. No fear about anything. No, don't trust in a man. Trust in God. Don't trust in any man. Man will fail you tomorrow. But God will not trust fail you. Even your whole father will fail you. Even your whole mother will fail you. Even your whole friend, your wife will fail you. Even your whole husband will fail you. Even your younger one, your family will fail you. But it's only God will never fail you. Because God is always there for his children. He said, call upon me, yell you that labor. I will, I will, I will give you, I'll give you rest. He said, call all you that lie that we give you. Let's look at the Jeremiah. We are going to the book of Jeremiah. Praise God. Let's read together, people of God. Is it something that we need to trust in God? There is no way about any other thing to trust in God. In this world, there is a God to be. The Bible say in the John 16, 33 is there. He said, in me you shall have peace. Praise God. In me you shall have peace. They go to be in jubilation. They go to be advocate. They go to be warfare. They go to be the kingdom. If the, the darkness war. Halabo Shakata. They're going to be in the darkness war. But he says, Share up. I have overcome them. Jesus said, I have overcome them. So they have no power over you. Where you trust in your God. Where you have a faith in God. That in that sickness, you will not take your life. You will not take your life. I am going to Jeremiah. Holy Spirit, take me there. Take me there. Please God. Ado shakotori brada gaze dara bo shada rage de ba zeke de broto di gade rego zu ba sheke te li bo jigada ra kwata kata kata reke te ba zo kotori gade godo e kwata la kotori kata e rada da bo sheke de rebo sa gada gada a ye gada praise God praise God praise God that is what is happening now what is happening right now I want to get a Jeremiah but uh, let's see. Let's see what is going to happen. Whether we can get it here. Jeremiah, okay. I don't see it. I don't see it. Why? Well, this is a New Testament. It's not Old Testament. Adi. Praise God. I don't know what is there. What is happening? But to get it. Jeremiah. Praise God. If you are out there, Jeremiah 1. Let's get go to get it. Praise Master Jesus. We are not worried. Let's just let hear the word of God. There is where we go to. We are where, where we are going. There is place we are going. And we get it. Praise God. We are there. So the Jeremiah one, he said five. He said, he said before you are formed, before you are formed, thee in the belly, I know thee, and before that, I comes forth out of your womb, the womb, I sanctify thee, and I order thee. And a prophet, or they did a prophet unto the generation. That is the book of Jeremiah. And say, he said, I am ordained in the book of I am ordained you as a prophet. When we go to the word of God in the that very that year in Jeremiah, he see, he say, and he say, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Why did he say he cannot speak is a child? Go when you are called both there. God is not shy. You don't know whether you are shy. Because when you come to God, God knows you. He knows everything about you. God will use you. He will make a way. He will use you. He said, I cannot speak because I am a shy. Sis. And the seven say, But the Lord say unto me, Say not, I am a shy. For that shall go 
to all that I shall send thee, and, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of the forces. Not be afraid. You see what he say? Be not afraid of the forces, for I am with thee. In, to, I am with thee to deliver thee. Save the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the Lord will put forth his hand, and he will touch my mouth. He will touch your mouth. This month of March, you will march forward. You will touch your mouth of the goodness. You will touch your mouth of favor. Praise Master Jesus. Then he will touch my mouth. He will touch my mouth. And I, the Lord, say unto me, Behold, I have put my words into your mouth. You see what I say? So don't say you are a shy. Don't say, I don't know how to, how to go to handle this thing. I am not a pastor. I am not a prophet. I am not an evangelist. I don't know this problem that just come to me. I'll go to take over. I'll go to handle this problem now. And let me call pastor. Let me call. The Lord said, don't say that. He says, just open your mouth. I will put the word inside. That is why he said, trust in me. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lay not unto your own understanding. But hold the way that he will direct your path. He will direct your way. He's a God. He's, uh, the, there is a Bible verse, a, a great woman of God, I, I will say yesterday, uh, he has said, he something. if a woman can leave the old child, the give birth to, he die, leave it. He don't, he don't, he, he say, the Lord say, I will never leave. Uh, people of God, let go to it. I love that Bible verse. So, the word of God today is God is bigger than death. God is bigger than death, uh, me. That's whatsoever we are doing, let base in trust in the Lord. God is bigger than death. That's whatsoever we are doing, let have faith in God. God is bigger than death. Whatsoever we are doing, let know the God that has created heaven and earth. He's the one that creates you. He creates all those things you are afraid of. What is the only thing you are afraid of? You are afraid for the witch and wizard. Some people cannot sleep when darkness came. They say they are afraid, they are fearing. But they call Jesus. They see no Jesus. If you know Jesus, what makes you afraid? What cause afraid they? What makes you be scared? When you have Jesus, when you trust in Jesus, let nobody deceive you away of your Christ. Don't let nobody tell you what to do about your father. Your heart connects to your father. As he connects to your father, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And he will always be with you. He will always be around you. He will always say that the angel. The Bible say the Lord, the 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 the, the, the book of uh, Genesis one. The Bible say he make Adam, Adam and Eve. Look at the way the Lord creates Adam. He creates Adam. He you know Adam is lonely. He know Adam he needs somebody around him. He know Adam in that period he needs someone. He had to create. He creates so many things around Adam. If God can make Ada is to get him put in the sleep, to take one of the ring to make a woman to be on the side to be so that she will have a conversation. He can have somebody to be talking to. He can have somebody. To, you are not there. You are you are so great. The God inside you. The Bible says, "Greater is He that is in you." And that is the only days. And you now do not have Jesus in you. Jesus is living inside you. What will make you be afraid for any power of the darkness? What will cause you to be tears? What will cause you to pay? What will cause you to be tears? Oh, nobody is around me. People are around me that forgot. People that put my trust. Don't trust in me. Trust in God. When you trust in God, that's it. God will see you through. When you trust in God, that's it. God will make a way where there's no way in your life. Hallelujah. So that is why we have to believe in God. We have to trust or base on our issue of our life. We want to base it in Christ. It's only God that will do it for us. A man cannot do it. May have your own way. Everybody have your own opinion on this life or this world. Your opinion is not my opinion. The opinion of that other one is not. So that is why we are the only person we are come to as a master that we give our result to to check whatever we are doing is Jesus Christ. Praise God. So you are praying, me I pray. praying. The only one that can change all our result of our prayer, if it's right, is so Jesus Christ. It's only He that bigger. So the wishes and wizard, the force of darkness, your father has the foundation of power of darkness. They will never give the result to your prayer because they don't have answer to your prayer. Hallelujah. That wicked one, they don't have answer to your prayer. That demon you are afraid of, they don't have answer to your prayer. That darkness you are afraid of, they don't have answer to your prayer. Yes, when you trust in God, 
do you believe in the God, the God of your father, Abraham of Isaac or Jacob? She will fight for you. In that, that tough time, in that tough time, that situation, that you don't know how to come out of it, it's always there. Shedra, Meshach, and Abednego, they throw in the lake of fire, but they don't know how they're going to come in at. Do you tell me that they, they are not praying? That is what we want that want a Christian as a student of God to believe. And they don't pray. Yes, they pray. If you ask me, I will tell you they pray. But God silent. He God silent in your situation. Don't be God forgot you. He God silent in your issue of your life. Don't be that he forgot you. He silent for the purpose to know how your faith is. He silent for the purpose to know whether you will run away for him to go back again. Whether what you are calling, whether you are calling Jesus, Jesus, as you are saying, I love you, Jesus. Whether is that love genuinely? The the way you are looking for genuine love. That is where God needs your genuine love. God needs the genuine love of his children. He needs the genuine love of his children. Are you, are you really have the genuine love for your father? Are you have the genuine love for your father? That is what, that is what we are here, the problem issue that we are fighting on this planet, this earth. Everyone will love God, but the way the genuine love. People want to selfish for their own money. They want to do all to get of their own pocket. But they are not having genuine love. The genuine, or the only genuine love you are to have for your father that is savior jesus christ that come to save you to have love one another to cater to the poor to cater to the orphan and the children that have no father to go hard there for those that are sick you know you can able to offer to do a head to for those that are hunger you know you can even give it to food to eat for those in the, the hospital if you can even get a little to put a smile to sour faces that is the only thing Jesus did for you. That is the only way that you will make God proud on you. That you are the son and you are the daughter that you hold on the planet of this earth. So we call upon God every day. God come and fight for me. God come and save me. God come and do this. And we have that genuine love for God. Genuine love God need for you to love one another. To love yourself and love one another. Love and cater for everyone. Don't put someone in your heart. Let anything in somebody do to you, let it go. Free your mind away from every negativity. Free your mind again with every negativity. Someone will come because you are passing issue of your life. They will use to come and laugh you. They will use to come and to say, ah, actually you say you serve God. Why God didn't answer you now? It doesn't matter. This plan or this thing we are living, we are here for a purpose. We are not here for the a, a, a right time. We are here for a purpose. If I was finished with you and I finish our purpose here. We are going to meet the Father. Praise God. That, that is what the people are not thinking. So, do you that you are here for purpose, you will go back to your Father. Right? How, many, how many of us as a Christian that think that? That after we finish here, we are going back to our Father. People don't think that. That is why you see many people, if we continue multiply day by day, the people that call themselves a Christian, they are doing evil things. The people that call their Christian, they call their sin, they don't love themselves. They don't love that said that's why you see evil manipulated if you love your brother and your sister you will not let him suffer if you love your brother yourself, you will not get it on the on the pay there is a place to go to rest very soon let's go to the word of god a little bit people of god god we gather there our topic today hallelujah let's go to isaiah 41 10. the bible says fear not for i am with you be not this smart, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with a right. I will uphold you with the righteousness. In the righteousness, a right end. I will uphold you with the righteousness at the right hand. You see, he said, "Fear not." I will uphold you. What well, is why God is telling you to fear not. Because it's bigger than all those issues that you are thinking that God want to swallow you. God is bigger than them. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, in my topic here again, that is see what I read for you before John 16. And that's said John 16, 13, 13 say, he said, I have said those things, to, those things to you, that in me, you will have a peace. So, he has given all the strength to follow him that all those things the enemy has doing there, it cannot work against you. Look at the first John 1 9. He said, If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us all 
righteousness. That is the God that we serve him. Praise Master Jesus. Look at it. The same God is saying, first Peter 5 7. He said, Cast all your care. Cast all your care on him because he cares for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, Cast all your care upon him. He cares for you. He cares for you, brother, sister. Jesus cared for you. Malebo Shakara. Look at it. It's, it's Psalm 55 22. He said, Cast all your burden on the Lord, and he will. He will stood in he will stood in you. He will never he will never paint the righteousness to be moved. That is God. Hallelujah. So why are we crying? Why are we saying uh, see say so sort of thing that we don't know how God is doing it? That say first Peter 5 17 is a cast your care that we read. Let read the eight on it, okay? The eight on it is say it say let's just let's go back again say cast your care cast you say cast you say cast your all your care all your expecting to him because he he will care for you be sober you see something he said be sober be sober minded be watchfully your adversity the devil the parole around like a roaring lion to see someone to devoid. You see, so what God is saying is that what our topic say is bigger than that. He's telling you that we need to be wiser more than what the devil is trying to do in our life. Eh? We have to wiser. Eh? He said, but first, see first the kingdom of God. Every other teacher, we have to be wider than the plans of the wicked one in our life because God holds you. So, what are we talking about? We are talking about God here. Yeah. We are talking about the love of God. We are talking about a wiseness of God in our life. We have to be lazy. The bondage the enemy tried to put on, the bondage the wicked one had to to put on, we have to let it be behind because we know who we are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that we are more than conqueror. We know we are passed through death. We are passed through death to life. You are passed through death to life. Let no man deceive you out there. Let no man say they are no. They are this. They are this. There is a God that you are serving. That God you serve will not put you to shame. Praise the Lord. That God you serve will not put you to shame. When you know the God you serve, He will always do something great in your life. He will always fight your battle. He will do something new. He will do amazing things for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Re koto brata kata kata. I come to pray for somebody tonight. This hour, this Sunday, this Sunday morning. I come to pray for you. That situation, the enemy see that you will not come out on it. I see you coming out in the name of Jesus. I see you coming out in the name of Jesus. And you are coming out, you are working school. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you are coming and you are working stronger. In the name of Jesus. That situation, the enemy say, you will not come out. They say they are all your home is finished. No nobody can care for you. Nobody this thing that you are seeing, you are still existing. The law care for you. The law care for you. Rado Shakata. Rekotoli Baba. The law care for you. The law care for you. You are coming out. You are coming out of all that situation. You are coming out in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are coming out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Reko Shakata Kata. The plans of the wicked one will not succeed your life. You are born to win. You are born to conquer. In the name of Jesus. Every delay in your life, it be arrested. It be destroyed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Rado Jagada Zotoria Kada Regede Bazu Bazidada Rado Shakata Kata Kata. Yes, God is the bigger than them. I come to advise somebody, come to encourage somebody there. There is nothing God cannot do. When we wait patiently for God, He will answer our prayer. Men shall fail you, women will fail you, people will fail you out there. Nobody can know whether you are, you are existing. That problem you think that He will swallow you. And I come to decree that problem. You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are coming out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are coming out in that issue of that the enemy that thing they catch you or the one spot. You are coming out. That bondage they catch you. You are coming out right now. He has spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. That delay. You are breaking out of that delay. You are disconnected for that yoke of the wicked one in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The thought of God in your life is a thought of peace, is not for evil. You see. 
He said, he said, my thought is not your thought. I say, heaven is higher than the earth. Also, my waist is higher than the waist of men. The waist of God is higher than the waist of men in your life. Let them gather together. The Bible says, Isaiah 55, he said, 19, the enemy shall come like a flood. The spirit of the living God will really stand against them. Oh my God, there is a Bible verse that Holy Spirit wants to make me to read. I want to get it. Holy Spirit, give me. People of God, God is so faithful. I don't know why people are crying. I don't know why people are sitting that uh, if I don't call, if I don't read it, I'm, no, believe your God. Believe in your God. Let's take, let look at Isaiah, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40 something. Let's see something there. Holy Spirit, thank you. Man, go to the Bashala Holua. Bashala Holua. Man, say terrible. Sorry, bro. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God never fear his children. The Bible say in the Psalm 25, when I take off, when we go the day, it says, Now I am young, I am old. I have never seen the righteous death forsaken. For you that day that you think your whole is finished. You see, no, God, nobody, everybody has forgotten you. Nobody is remembered. God is forgotten. God, God has never, God has not turned back on you. God has not started in you. God got to do something great and amazing in your life. God needs your conspire. You need to say, a Bible say in a Jeremiah, say, come, let all this together. Are you risen with your father day and night? Are you having each service with your father in heaven? Are you uh, committed to your Lord God of Israel? The maker of your soul. Are you taught to him as one or one? Are you saying, Father, this is what I need. This is what I need for you. Father, speak to me. I want to hear you. Are you talking to Lord? Are you talking to Father or you are talking to man? Are you talking to God or are talking to a man? A man has nothing to do what fine to you. A man has nothing to do in your life. A man has no avenue in your life. A man has no version in your life. It's only God. But I, I this time around, I see many believers, they take God granted. They don't love, they don't want to see God. They want to get something for God. They want to see when they say, receive miracle. We go and go to a bank of go to your bank of your account. Go and receive there is money there. Is it only the money? Is it money about the the thing of the kingdom, the thing of the spirit, is it, is it or about money? Money, money. No, if we as a Christian we are taking the thing of the spirit, is there about money? That is why you all and I are missing it. Praise God. That is why you and I we missing it because the thing of the kingdom is not about money, money. The thing of the kingdom is not based on roses, it's not roses and based on uh, and, and rice, it's not sweet as joy, based on roses. It's a thing that you will come to your father. Jesus came to this planet of this year. Well, Jesus is not looking for to have a, a private jet he don't looking for have a car he don't have it to he want to gather his soul he want to win a soul to the father he want to bring soul to god he want to feed the poor he want to heal the sick that's the purpose jesus came are we in that true are we still building in that altar where jesus building on it are we still living in that altar where jesus building on it she are living people are not there in that altar people want to be rich they say christian we want to get money christian we must reach want to have that but if you're your purpose of the plan of this year to have money serving god to bless don't know as a shepherd or you are not as a shepherd to, to gather the sheep you your whole purpose to get money for the sheep not to gather the sheep to lead them to the salvation of the law you are making the mistake I attend it to that pro that prophet and I challenge that man of God, that man of God. If your whole purpose to gather his sheep, to lead them to their home, to lead them, to, don't lead them to the God. You are taking them to attend them to bless or deliver. Miracle is so nice, miracle is good. And be after miracle, where are they going? After miracle, where are they so going? We are going here today to speak to all the nations of the global. We in agreement probably to tell you Jesus loves you. If you are there, you are not giving your life to Jesus today. Today, make a turn, make a return to ascend Jesus Christ. Don't be playing gamble with your father in heaven. Don't be playing gamble with your God in heaven. Don't use your body to shine. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, I thank you. Let's go to the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. Ah, Yabo Shakata Brakata Yes, God is so good. Oh my God. God is so good, people of God. 
God is so good. Let's serve God with our hearts. Yes, let's serve God with our genuine heart. Let's say God say trust in the Lord with all your heart. Let not unto your whole understanding, but all the way he loves you. And it will direct of trust in him. It's only him. The enemy will fight you. Your family will fight you. The sister will fight you. Outside will fight you. But when you believe in God, look at Joseph and his, his, bro, his family, the brethren, his brothers, they, they betrayed him. They betrayed Joseph. But at the end, the hand of hand, the hand of God is a, is a rest on a Joseph. He rests upon Joseph. What they want to do to Joseph to, to die. But the Bible say they made it for evil for Joseph and the Lord turned it for good. That can be your portion, that man. That can be your portion, that woman. Whatsoever the enemy made the evil in your life, the God of agreement prayer ministry, the God of every interruption family, the God of my father, my son, Jesus, my Jesus, he will make it for good for you. He will turn it to good. The God of Abraham, of Isaac, will turn it for good for you. Look at the word of God. Thank you, Father. Gada gada, raga de bro, shatele geze gede gede, brada gada, rado shado zado zi ada, regede brado satori akate kete, raga do bo shekete. Father, fight for that man, that woman. Every living soul in this agreement prayer ministry today, God, see that too. Fight for them, fight for them. Fight for them, Holy Ghost. Fight for them. Fight for them. Fight them. Fight every plus of the wicked around them. In the name of Jesus. To kasha kata kata kata. Re badaro kotori kata kata. The Bible say, is it anything hard for the Lord God to do? Praise God. Is it anything hard for the Lord God to do? Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This Bible verse is so wonderful. Prayer is the king of kings. Rado shata, rado shada, rado shada. People of God, let's read, read it. Open your Bible to Isaiah 49 and 15 there. Okay? Praise the Lord, people of God. We are seeing here. We're going to end it very soon. Okay? God bless you. For those that are coming, the blessing of this service today, service, it will be your portion in Jesus' name. He said, Can a woman forgot her sucky child that she should not have a compassion on the son of our womb. Yeah, they may forget it. Yet I will not forget thee. That the Lord saying to you, He will not forget you. Even the woman can forget the sucking child. Then he, he, I, the Lord will not forget you. Let the head be called around you to destroy you. To come to fight the Lord will never allow the plans of the wicked one. So see, that is what the Bible say in the Psalm 91. He said, If that dwelling in the secret place of the Most High shall have been there under the shadow of the mighty, are you dwelling? The question is that, are we really dwelling in the secret place of the Most High? Are we dwelling in the canopy of God? That is why God needs you and I to dwell in. That is what God needs you and I to dwell in. To dwell in our whole heart, with a pure heart, our whole mind, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. If I don't read this Bible verse, I will not get my peace today. Let's go to Roma 8. Oh God, thank you, Father. I don't know why God take me to Roma uh, Roma 12. Okay. Let's see. He say, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body as a living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, which is your resume service. Bring yourself holy. Holy, holy to God. He said, Holy, body, your body, a living sacrifice. What is a living sacrifice, my brother, my sister? A living sacrifice is that you are worship God. You want to serve God. Say God with open hearts. Say God with pure hearts. A living sacrifice. What is the sacrifice? If I want to ask somebody there, what is the sacrifice? A sacrifice that you are dedicating yourself to serve God with your own heart. 
a living sacrifice you are giving you are giving it to god that thing you need to give to whatsoever that keeping you busy you let those things behind you you love those things behind you you dedicate your soul and your body to god to say god i want to serve you i don't want to you that period you are with your father that period you are with your king or king that period you are watching god you are praying you are seeing the face of god and i'm shaking the bubble and i decree upon you all that with us in a, in, a, in our 21 day fasting i decree i decree upon everyone you all will share your testimony they i declare open door to your prayer request in the name of jesus in agreement prayer ministry worship it on facebook worship it on twitter youtube i say receive divine intervention in that your a prayer request several prayer requests you are wrote there receive divine intervention over it in the name of jesus receive divine intervention over it receive divine intervention God will intervene. Enemy, they know the enemy don't have a final say in your life. That little daughter don't have a final say in your life. That little daughter, you don't create you. That which I wish I they don't create you. That power of darkness, they didn't create you. Jesus has created you. The matter what the enemy will afflict you today. Remember, God is here to fight for you. Where you are your faith in Christ, where you trust in God. Don't be a seeker, a miracle. Don't be a son of daughter of seeking miracle. Don't be a son of daughter that always need where you are needing something for God. That is why you want to close out to God. Be Closer to God, even though waiting are tough, waiting are not okay in your life. Closer to your father because that is the time God will know you are here with him. That is the tough time that God will break you, will lift you up. That is the God time that God will lift you. I will put every plan on the wicked one around you. We put that down out of your life. God is here to fight for somebody here right now. I see as I'm speaking, every plan on the wicked one, every celebration of the enemy he got it around you. They say they have they are they are done with you. They say nothing good will come out for your life. I said the gold thing is coming out of that man. Hey, come and say to the bobo. They tell our Lord Savior that is Jesus Christ. They say nothing good will come out for him because because he born for a, 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 a Jesus Christ for Nazareth. They said can any good any good will come out for Nazareth? Oh my God! Oh my Father! Oh my God! Can any good will come out for Nazareth? My God, my shekat alabada. Rekoto, you are there, you are in that category right now. They said nothing good will come out for you. They, because the enemy has said they're done with you. They said nothing good will come out for your life. Because the enemy thinks they have dealt with you. And I call to decree upon your life this Sunday morning. God, something greater will come out for you. When the whole world will see, they will celebrate God in your life. Something greater will come out for you. When the enemy around you, they will see, they will bother. They will know that there is God in you. I said something good will come out for you. When the enemy of your also enemy then we come to battle and the battle for joseph they say ah they come to celebrate joseph joseph say you will not do the evil to me for him for the turn anything you do to me evil but the god of Israel turning for good for me i say something good is going to happen to you this year this month this month this year in the name of jesus christ be great and declare upon your life your life will never be crippled in the name of jesus your life will never be crippled it will never be snake every spirit of snake i be broke it i cast it to air out of your life a spirit of spray i cast it out of you right now by the power of the blood of jesus christ yes people of god that is it that is why we have to close out to god he's all everything about our life he hold everything about your family he hold everything about your ministry the god of heaven and hands he know the day he know he know when we are slept the bible says when we slept the evil one called the soul sin. Your enemy don't want you to see today. That enemy that don't stop you to see today. For you that don't, don't stop you to see today. That enemy that are fighting your head. The Lord God of history, the God of agreement prime ministry, he will fight there. He will fight there this day. In the name of Jesus, he will fight there. Victory shall be your portion. People of God, what are we talking about today? God is bigger than that. That when we trust in God, when we believe in God, she will always scatter for us. He will fight for us. It's bigger than that problem you are passing through. It's bigger than that issue. You know it's tough. It's tough. But the Bible says, wait for him. He will bring it to pass. Wait for the time of God. He God never fail. He will never fail. He said, my way. That very Bible verse. Go it. As the will of God is bigger, I say, as the earth is bigger than the head, also by words, also bigger than everything of plan of this head. So everything the enemy has done against your life that cost you tears, that cost you pain today, today is is cancelled by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. By the reason of the spoken of the word of God. 
as the earth was bigger than the head. That is what the word of God bigger than every pronouncing spoken word around the life. Evil pronouncing war. Evil pronouncing war against you. Evil spoken word around your life. The word of God is bigger than that. And I cancel them. Isaiah 17. Yeah, Isaiah 24, 17 say, He said, No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Every tongue that will ride against you is condemned. And is condemned in the name of the people of God. I will not stop here. I will not tell you the truth. Uh, if you are living on the sea, if you are dwelling in sea, there is no way that you will call this sea Jesus. I will answer you. There is no way you will call this Jesus and we find your battle. And one thing I want you all the believer to, to believe, the matter that that tough time, the matter that tough time, believe me, that Jesus is with you there. Jesus is always with you. That you think that nobody is around you. You think that you are alone. You think you want to die. No, you are not dying because your time is not yet come. That is why God. He's always keeping you. That's why God is always protecting you. Yeah, the enemy will surround you like a lion to eat you up. But the lion, will, they will not kill you. They will not destroy you. Because the heart of God is your life. Yeah, that tough time, you think that the whole world forgot you. Jesus don't forgot you. I, I'm talking to somebody here. There is a woman here watching me right now. The Lord said you are crying. And your spirit is dragging me. The Lord said you are crying. Don't cry. Your time has come. That's a situation that you think that nobody can help you, nobody can save, save you. That your time, you know, you want to die. You are not dying. You are not dying because Jesus has taken away your prayer in the death. He has taken all your pain. He has dead there on the cross of Calvary. He said he's finished. Whatsoever the enemy do or do on this planet of this year against your life right now, it will return back to the center in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray for you all that are coming to this house today. Receive divine blessing. Receive peace. If you don't have peace in you, nothing, nothing you can do. First of all, receive peace in your heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive peace of God in your heart. Receive peace, that woman, that man, that family. Receive divine peace in the air around your life. Receive peace in the name of Jesus Christ. So, and I hope the door for those who want to receive Jesus Christ as a personal savior. Yes, we need to do so. As your person, as you, you are still living in the world, you are not accept Jesus Christ. You are promised Jesus tomorrow, next tomorrow. You are saying, ah, I don't know. This is your time and this is your power. This is your season to accept Jesus Christ as a personal, as a savior of your life. Job, if you want to do that, say with me, say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am lying. I am do such a thing. I am do all things that don't please you. For I use, I kill and destroy. Father Lord, today, and because of this woman of God, the way she spoke, I really want to follow you, Lord. Lord Jesus has set my soul. Wash me with your blood. Take my name out of the book of death. Write my name on the book of life. I will never go back to the world. The world has nothing to offer me. Lord, I have come before you. And set me, Lord, in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, you are not born again. That boy, that girl, that family, even today, tomorrow, anytime you pray, you are not born again. I pray for you for the strength to move on. I pray for you for the strength to carry, to walk in the vine of God. The strength to move on, to follow, uh, uh, to follow the race, to follow the race uh, of God. You cannot fence on the west side. You will not fence on the west side. You will follow Jesus to the end in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, the joke is broken out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Know what we do here to hear the word of God. And I advise you to direct you to a Bible, find a Bible believing church of God where the pastor there they will lecture you the word of God. Through the word of God, that is where we grow. If you don't have it, how can you move? So please submit yourself. If you don't have anyone, we, we welcome you here. We welcome you in agreement prayer ministry. We welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here you go to hear the Lord's word of God from heaven and we go to be hearing the Bible prayer to pray, how to pray, how to learn to do something, everything in our life. No, the Bible says, examine ourselves. Whether we are sick, Christ. Here we examine ourselves day, 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 every daily day in our life. We examine ourselves so that we will not be sick on that day. We are not here for uh, forever on this earth. We are here for purpose. So if your purpose and earth here, you will go and meet your father. That is where he is. So no more pray for to meet your father earlier. Why everybody I pray for long life. And I pray for your girl every one year, long life to meet your father. But when God say yes, who can say no? And I pray for your life. Let the God of Abraham of Isaac fight for you all in Jesus' name. Please, I use the opportunity again what to say to welcome everyone again. Please, our topic today, God is bigger than death. Yes, if you want God to be bigger than your enemy, stand right before your father. Stand right before your father. Don't lie. 
no gossip, no head anything for any man, any women. Someone who fed you there, let go. So that this way you are calling God. God, he said God he will be bigger than your enemy. He will fight for you. He will give you victory. He will make a way where there's no way for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I pray for you all. This is your season and this is your time in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. God bless you. And I cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ. So we have a, a prayer group, a prayer night in agreement prayer WhatsApp group. So if you want to join us there, you can WhatsApp me and we hide you in the group so that we can be praying all night. We pray all night Tuesday, we pray all night Friday. So we pray two times all night together. We come together as a, as a, as a family to pray together. The Bible says family that pray together and they live together. So God bless you. If you want to join up in the group, you, if you are free to WhatsApp us, we put you on the group. So a prayer, a, a prayer Christian is a is a is a destiny child of God. A quiet man is a, is a quiet destiny. When you are praying, God will come to be lifting you high in Jesus' mighty name. God will go to be fighting your battle through the prayer. That's where God will open you up. I pray for you, my sweet and destiny, Peter. I pray for you for divine favor, divine open door, divine miracle upon your life and for your family in the name of Jesus. Divine breakthrough this year, this year 2024. This month of March, you're marching forward. You are marching forward. You are marching forward in your house and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon fashion against you shall prosper. Every thought that ran against you is condemned in Jesus' mighty name. I love you, every one of you. I love Every, all my people watching me around the globe, those are WhatsApp, me, those are praying for. Remember, God will go to see you. You cry to me, but I take your prayer, I take it to God, and that God will answer you in Jesus' name. God bless you all. I love you, and Jesus loves you more. I say, go to close this service. Amen. I cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship by the Holy Spirit. Rest not about it, for surely goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answer prayer tonight. Thank you, Father, for do what the man cannot do. Thank you, Father, for break every yoke. Thank you, Father, for making a way for your children. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray today. Amen. In the evening, we're coming out in the evening. If God permit, hallelujah, we are coming out in the evening for prayer. That one is a prayer session. Now, we all hear the word of God, God bigger than there. And we, if God bigger than there, we will leave the right of the right we to stand the right way for God so that God should fight our battle in Jesus' name. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Bye. Bye.